So that thing's annihilated. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another episode of Boost to the Top VGC 2021. Now as you can tell, it is a beautiful sunny day out, and thus I look a little bit weird on camera, because of the light, check it. Actually, hold on, that might be a little bit better. <laughs> that might, nah, it's worse, okay, so let me, let me close that. So what's up, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be continuing our ladder se laddering session with that Raikou team, and I'll be actually dropping the code for you. Uh, code is on screen right now. If you guys want to try it out, paste it in the description down below. Basically, the Raikou team is really fun. I like it. It makes Gigalith work in the format, and I think it's always going to be able to work. Like Gigalith Dustclop seems really nasty, and people don't give it enough credit. Uh, last time we ended up at rank 927, as you can see, uh, because more people entered Master Ball tier and laddered above me, we're now 1,000. But yeah, let's see if we can break top 500 today. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications. Every like helps a lot, so if you can leave a like, I'd really appreciate that. And um, answer the comment question of the day: Do you think there is like, do you think there is like? A big difference between Porygon and Dusclops in terms of viability of a Trick Room setter. Personally, I don't find Porygon 2 to be the best Trick Room setter. Like, I think Dusclops outclasses it in every way, shape, and form just because of Frisk. Like, it doesn't have recovery, but overall, you get so much more out of it. So, yeah, that, that's my take, but let me know what you guys think. I suppose Porygon can take a minus one close combat from Choice Band Urshifu. But that's like the main difference because like Dusclops can't switch in on any kind of wicked blow since it ignores the stat drops. So I, I guess that's the main thing as we face a rank 304 player. Ooh, OK, this is interesting. So it looks like we're facing off against Sneasel and Colossal. Sneasel's base 115 speed, right? I need a check. Wait, let me check. I have to make sure I'm thinking about the speed tier correctly, because Raikou also has pretty high speed. Yeah, Sneasel's base 115, however, I'm not maxed out on my Raikou, so I'm going to be underspeeding it. So I can't reliably lead off that way. Um, I can likely go with a... I, I can still lead off Raikou, to be honest. We'll go Raikou, we'll, we'll go Raikou Dusclops, because it makes them, you know, choose what they want to go for. Uh, Gigalith is going to be really good in this matchup, and so is Tapu Fini, but I could also see Incineroar putting in a lot of work. It's kind of 50-50 there. Um, I think I get more out of... I think I get more out of Tapu Fini than Incineroar in this matchup. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. This looks like a really cool team. Uh, a lot of people have transitioned over to Blacephalon Colossal, but I think that Sneasel Colossal still has a lot of viability. Just because you're not forced to choice lock into the uh, into the move you want to go for. And you do get the weakness policy where Blacephalon you don't get the weakness policy. So that, that that's a big difference. As they end up going for Dragapult and Incineroar. Okay, so this actually isn't too bad. I should be able to get off my Trick Room. Since I can just set up um, a Reflect and get that off. Life Orb, Dragapult, Figgy Berry, Incineroar. I don't think them doubling into me will actually allow them to stop the Trick Room unless they're running Taunt. Which is a big if. I could always just reflect and get up Tapu Fini. Or, and get out Tapu Fini just to play it safe. Yeah, I'd rather scout here. Um, I, I'm going to say they're probably running Taunt on that Incineroar if they felt so confident leading off with it. Or they could just go for like, you know, Max Phantasm into a Darkest Lair, which I, I don't know how much that would do, to be honest. As they do Dynamax, great news for me, I'd rather have them burn their Dynamax early in the match, uh, since my, my team does a lot better once Dynamax is gone. And I think it has a lot of defensive options to stall it out. Um, as long as the Max Phantasm goes into the Tapu Fini, I, I feel very comfortable with this uh, with this turn. Yep, there it is. In a Tapu Fini. Does a solid chunk of damage. I'll get my Reflect off, and I should be getting my Citrus Berry here as well. Nice. Get off the Reflect. I'm assuming the Darkest Lariated to uh, secure the KO. 
Parting shot. Okay, I can take that. I will. I will take that. I will take that. I think that's a. Uh, I think that's pretty good, actually. Raikou isn't really meant to pick up KOs. It's more of a supportive Pokemon, so I'm I'm perfectly fine with that play. Now I have to think. What's the best way of selling out this Dynamax without burning my own? There's the Rillaboom. I'd say I, I should always go for just a protect here on the Finny. The reflect up is really big. Um, that definitely looked like a physical Dragapult. And we're getting recovery, so I'm pretty cool with what's going on here. Let's get in the Dusclops, hopefully not on a Phantasm. Go for a protect. And then next turn I'll just switch in Raikou again. I'm going to say they probably target into Finny here. Miracle Seed, okay. If they double into uh, if they double into this uh, Dust Clops, I'm in big trouble. There's the Grassy Glide. Does he go for the Phantasm? That's fine. Oh, they crit me! Yay! <laughs> Why does this always happen when? I Wait, no. What? That's just a special Dragapult. Okay. Well, it seems we have made a miscalculation. It seems we've made a miscalculation here. So how do I win this one? I suppose I could get in Gigalith and switch out Tapu Fini for Raikou. And then try to take advantage of their Grassy Glide to activate my weakness policy. I think that's probably my best option. However, I think I have to... I think I have to go for the... Um, Max guard here to secure, uh, to secure that KO, or to secure the um, conditions for that KO, because essentially, um, if if I let them lower my defense or my attack by targeting into the uh, the Gigalith with a Max Phantasm or a Max Wormwind, I'm in a much worse position. I'd rather burn one turn to Dynamax to ensure this happens. And what I'm actually going to do here is I feel comfortable going for a Howl. Do I? Maybe I should just switch in the Finny. There's the Grassy Glide. Did they double into me? Yes, okay, they did. Now, I'm going to say it's in my best interest just to go for the uh, Max Rockfall. Since it is a special uh, special Dragapult, it doesn't matter if I go for the Steel Spike here. Not that Incinera would be that difficult to deal with anyways. Um, I can also get in the Finny here to better take whatever move they want to go for. Shadow Ball wouldn't do that much, and if they go for Draco Meteor, they end up losing a lot of damage on that. So we'll double out to Finny. This will decrease the damage of Grassy Glide quite a bit. With the Reflect Up, we take it relatively well. Yeah, special Dragapult caught me off guard there. I was wondering, I was like, is it? Is there a chance it's special? I don't know. Because usually if they're special, they run like Thunderbolt or something for coverage, but I suppose it would make sense that maybe they're running like Will-O-Wisp or Taunt. That could be interesting. Not Taunt, but like Will-O-Wisp, Protect, some other kind of coverage move. Actually, if they're special, they could be running like Will-O-Wisp packs, which would be really cool. Let's get in the finny here. Hopefully they just activate my weakness policy and I don't take too much damage here. As they withdraw the Rillaboom, very good play. And send out the Incineroar. I don't think that takes minus one max rockfall very well. They go for the Shadow Ball into the finny. And they do a decent amount. Okay, yeah. I get rid of their uh, only Intimidator. And I think it's in my best interest to take this uh, Grassy Glide head on this turn. Even though it's within Grassy Terrain. We do have the Reflect up, which will help quite a bit.
Let me just go for it. And I'll switch in the Raikou. Let's just take it. Plus one, I think I still KO this guy. Send in the Raikou. Hopefully the Reflect will let me take it relatively well. It's still going to hurt though. Miracle Seed boosted, it's, it's pretty strong. Raikou, however, is great special defense, so I should take a Shadow Ball into that slot pretty okay. Even with, like, the Life Orb boost, it, it should be alright. And this, uh, this Sand helps me out with the special defensive side, so even if they double into me, I should probably still pick up a KO on the Rillaboom. But I don't comfortably take a Grassy Glide. As they decide to Wood Hammer, which... That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. That's definitely a Wood Hammer right there. They Swords Dance, okay. Huh. Are they within range of Thunderbolt? Probably... <laughs> maybe maybe not. Because this is minus one. How do I do this? They kind of nanate on me right there. As I get a new Twitch follower. Thank you, Alertbox. <laughs> huh. How many turns of Reflector left? Three turns of Reflect. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> I'm just going to go for it. I have to switch in the Finny, though, for my best chance of living a Grassy Glide. I'm probably not going to live a Grassy Glide, though. This is going to hurt. If they're running Swords Dance, they might not have Wood Hammer, which is pretty big. But I think plus one Rock Slide would do a lot if I somehow survive. This is going to be close. I mean, it is Miracle Seed boosted, so... Mm. Oh, no, they double into me. Good game. <laughs> There's no way they didn't also Grassy Glide there. No, they have Wood Hammer. Yeah, good game. Alright, so unfortunately, no, we're not going to win this first match. Yeah, the Swords Dance caught me off guard. Not a common move on Rillaboom, but a very scary one at that. So good game to the opponent. Let me see if there is an out here. I could try to go for like a... Uh... I could try to go for a light screen and protect the Finny. And maybe if I outspeed, I'll be fine. I have to outspeed the Rillaboom, which isn't likely. Nope, they switched it out. Good game. <laughs> What's the last Pokemon? Toxtricity, okay. You know what? If they have a GMAX Toxtricity on this team, it would make sense for the final move of that... Um, it would make sense for the final move of their Dragapult to be Hex. So I guess that's why they're special and they're not running any kind of coverage. All right, I'll forfeit here. So unfortunately, we're gonna we're gonna take an L in that first match. This is a really cool team. I mean, I I, I had a team that was like Toxtricity, Dragapult, Rillaboom, but I never really actually busted it out. I thought it was just kind of like an okay concept, but they definitely like got me on this one. Swords Dance completely messed me up. All right, let's continue battling here. I suppose the way I would adjust uh, my, like, game plan for that one would be just bring, probably, not Rillaboom, uh, probably bring Incineroar to, instead of Tapu Fini to the matchup. It would have helped out quite a bit. By the way, this week's finals week. Wish me luck, guys. It's gonna be, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a very interesting week for me. I'm still streaming tonight, though. Like, I have a final tomorrow at 3 p.m., but I'm still going to stream tonight. I feel comfortable in my position in the class that I, I can do fine, you know? No need to really cram. As we face a interesting team, they have the Water Shuriken plus Palisand, but they also have a couple of other things. Wow, what is this? 
Nothing that a light screen won't help, I guess. Tapu Fini also looks pretty good on lead. Dust Clops in the back in case they go Trick Room uh, and probably Gigalith. I mean, I could also get away with just Raikou. I think I can get away with Raikou Kartana pretty well, to be honest. Tapu Fini in the back. Uh, probably no Gigalith this game, to be honest. I think Incineroar wouldn't be bad. Hmm. Let me think. So, Raikou Kartana covers most of this team, to be honest. Tapu Fini is great for the possible Dragonite. Nidoking is the main issue, and I suppose that my best bet for that is actually Gigalith. So we'll go with that. Just like a, a pocket Gigalith. We don't need a Trick Room to actually succeed versus this one. We have to be really careful with that uh, Amoongus. Amoongus could mess me up. But what's interesting is how slow their team is, but no Trick Room setter. Unless, unless I'm mistaken and Palisand gets Trick Room, but I'm pretty certain it doesn't. Let's see. Yeah, a Selgor Palisand, I have uh, nay-nayed this lead. Like, they could go for the final Gambit, which I don't expect them to. But I have to, I have to scout for that. If they final Gambit me, that'll be very annoying. Um, I mean, Kartana takes the final Gambit if I just do this. Let me go for a light screen. And I'll just try to airstream the Aselgor. I, I, I don't want to risk it, but I think... Kartana can take it. I think they would want to go for the boosts, is the thing. I think they would want to go for the boosts. This is a very risky play, but I, I don't want to sack, like, Tapu Fini to this thing. Or, you know what? I guess I should have gone Tapu Fini, just to play it safe, but who knows. Final Gambit of Selgor is very annoying. And I have a solid amount of HP now. Okay, they Dynamax, so they're going for the weakness policy thing. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine here. I love that guy's Dynamax animation. It's so good. Any Dynamax animation that starts from the like camera panning to the ground is, is always a good one. Yep, there's the Water Shuriken. Glad I went for the light screen. He's going to raise his defenses quite a bit, but if I can secure a KO, I'm fine. Matter of fact, I think my play here is to get this thing down to its Focus Sash. If they target into the uh, Kartana, I'm going to take a, a solid chunk of damage, but I should be a, like a 3-hit KO. Yeah, there's the Sash. And this next turn, I think I outspeed. Let me check. I, I didn't have it pulled up, so I have to open up my app. There's the Max Phantasm as they go for the Kartana. Yeah, I'm a 3-hit KO, so... Kartana, a Selgor. Whoops. Kartana. Uh, Selgor. I have 37 seconds. Ooh, I'm actually not faster. I'm actually not faster than the Selgor, but I think I'm fine with that. I'll still go for the Howl and the Max Knuckle. This will get me up to uh, plus 3 attack, and then I can probably KO the Palisand. Maybe I am faster, it depends. Yeah, I am faster. Fun. So, they're a bulkier Aselgor. Maybe they have less speed. Unless I just calced wrong. Hmm. Oh, no, I am. I just calced wrong. I forgot to hit Jolly. Alright. So, that's plus three. They quake into the Raikou. That's perfectly fine. They get a critical hit. I was I was 
like curious. I'm like, does that actually KO behind or light screen? I'm pretty certain it does. But it, it, it felt iffy, you know? Let me get in the Tapu Fini. So they send in the Amoongus. Awesome. It's actually a really good position. They can't Rage Powder away the hit from my... Uh, from my Kartana. And... How many turns of Dynamax do they have left? They're at maximum defense. I'm only at plus three attack. I think my play is just to uh, focus down the Kartana. The... What's it called? Or not the Kartana, the Palisand. Because the um, Amoongus likely doesn't have anything for me. I guess it depends what's in the back. Ah, nothing in the back's really all that scary. Maybe I'll just get rid of Amoongus. Yeah, we'll just delete Amoongus. As they protect the Amoongus, that's alright, I guess. Because I don't get knocked out by anything the uh, Palisand wants to go for. I was going to try to get up to plus four. I kind of hope they just go for a max quake or something into the finny. Yep. I could tell that. I could tell I was actually going to avoid that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, here I absolutely have to target into the, um, into the palace and I've pretty much expended all the turns I can avoid doing that. I do have a chance to crit, though. So that's good. And I would prefer to attack this thing when its HP is lower. So I'll go for the uh, Muddy Water and the Leaf Blade. I'm not too concerned about the um, about the Amoongus when I have Tapu Fini on the field. Because uh, that means that Gigalith can beat it. And unless this Amoongus is running Pollen Puff, it shouldn't be able to KO my Kartana. Which I guess is likely. It could be Pollen Puff. Alright, let's see how much this does. Muddy Water, don't you dare. Okay, at least I hit the Palace Hand. I was going to say, if I miss the Palace Hand, I'll be real annoyed here. <laughs> They go for the Palm Puff. They do have it. And it failed. They were trying to heal. Awesome. Snorlax the Rank Master. I mean, I beat that 1v1 with Gigalith. So, I'm cool with uh, going for the Leaf Blade here. We'll go for Muddy Water and Leaf... Or, uh, Muddy Water and... Sacred Sword? Actually, no. I just, I just target into Snorlax, don't I? Because Snorlax typically don't run Protect. They want to run coverage plus belly drum. Yeah. So that thing's annihilated. Why'd I muddy water? Should have just like icy winded. I mean, I still win. But I definitely just made it a little bit more awkward, like the end game. <laughs> hey, the accuracy drop. Awesome. Can you miss a palm puff? Just so this goes faster. Oh no, he, he was still going for it into his partner. Alright, awesome, we won. Uh, Moonblast, because it doesn't matter, Aerial Ace, that'll pick up the KO. Cool, pick up a win there. Yeah, that was an interesting match. Um, it seemed that they were just reliant on Trick Room-based strategies without a Trick Room Pokemon, so that, that's where things kind of fell apart for them. They couldn't invert speed tiers. Let me, uh, let me look, take a look. Uh, what? I, I don't know what kind of spread that is. That's interesting. So, max special attack, max special defense. Maybe they meant to do speed? Maybe they meant to put that in speed and it was just an error? Alright. Uh, yeah, this one makes sense. Rock Slide's cool. Rock Slide is cool coverage. Max speed. Oh, they are timid. I, I guess I just completely calced wrong, yeah. 
Uh, max HP, max defense with a special defense boost in nature. Interesting. And max special defense, max HP. Plus max defense Snorlax. Actually, max defense Snorlax I can get behind. I actually that's that's one of the better ways to run uh, Dynamax Snorlax in my opinion. Just because it makes it see eat hits so well. You're already belly drumming, you know. As long as you calc for enough attack where you KO what you need to, you'll be fine. Alright, so we're facing a Lander, Sylveon, Metagross, Tornadus, Rotom Heat, Rillaboom team. Uh, they definitely don't like Trick Room here. Their Trick Room matchup's pretty eh. We'll go Dusclops on the lead. And I could go Raikou. I could go Raikou. Uh, but I probably get a lot more out of the Incineroar. Gigalith in the back, I think, and I want to go Tapu Fini, but I'm very scared that I'm going to send out Tapu Fini and Will-O-Wisp into the Metagross again. It's going to happen. I guarantee you I'm going to forget again. <sighs> By the way, guys, if you watch this far into the video, go ahead and uh, type in Will-O-Wisp plus Misty Terrain best play. <laughs> Just go ahead and type that in. Oh, also, um, if you're this far into the video, uh, I want to announce that I'm bringing back my competitive essay videos where I pretty much just write an essay about a Pokemon and edit a whole video around it. So if you guys have a Pokemon you want me to cover in particular, comment it down below. Uh, preferably something that's actually made an impact in the metagame. Sometimes people will be like, hey, can you do a video on, like, I don't know, Passimian? And I'm like, uh, uh, he he's not really relevant, you know? And they're like, yeah, but he's good. And I'm like, yeah, but he's not relevant. I'm covering things that are relevant, so. Alright. Uh, this should be guaranteed trick room. I just fake out into the uh, into the boy. I have to be careful with that taunt, though. That taunt could pretty much remove any chance of me getting a... Remove any chance of me getting off my... Will-O-Wisp. I should trick room, though. I should trick room, for sure. Go for the fake out. They don't exactly have a way of stopping it. What if they're defiant tornadoes and they just absolutely annihilate me? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. I would I would think that's pretty funny. I mean obviously they're prankster because they didn't get defiant boost, but I mean like imagine if someone was just like, yeah, let me go tornadoes and metagross, but just completely feign the, the prankster. Alright, I'm still cool with this, as long as I burn the Metagross, to be honest. As long as I burn the Metagross. Alright. So my play here is going to be burning the Metagross and parting shotting. Parting shot. Yeah, I guess it is. Parting shot ink to parting shot. Par parting poop. Uh, yeah, let me Will-O-Wisp that thing. Hopefully they will let me burn it. Parting shot into the Landorus, get in the Gigalith, and that should allow me to do this pretty safely. I cannot get in my Tapu Fini. Marcos, do not get in the Tapu Fini. Do not do it. It is a stupid play. Unless you get the Will-O-Wisp off, because of course the, the Will-O-Wisp will go first. If I don't get the Will-O-Wisp off, do not send in the Tapu Fini. <laughs> that is not a good play. I can still burn the Landorus because he's not touching the ground, but... Keep reminding myself, do not send in the Tapu Fini if you do not burn this Metagross. You have your priorities. Your win con is neutering the Metagross. Okay, they withdraw it, so I'm not going to send in Finny. Get off a, a burn onto this guy, removing his Sash, which is good news. I get minus one on this Landorus. I might even just send in the Metagross. Or not the Metagross. I might be able to send in my um, Gigalith here pretty safely. And then I just go for like a Max Rockfall on the... Uh, I think I think I just go for the Max Rockfall on the Landorus. If he Earthquakes, you know. I think he Earthquaked here, just judging by the play. He made to send in the, the Tornadus here. Yep, there it is. 
Give me my weakness policy. I should take this okay, unless he's banded. Yeah, okay, we're good. So here my play is 100% to just absolutely annihilate this <laughs> this uh, Landorus. Even if they switch in the Metagross, it's not going to take the hit very well, and I would rather deal with a Dynamax Landorus than a Dynamax Metagross, just because it's intimidatable. They're going to taunt my... They're gonna, they're gonna taunt my Dustclop, so I'll just avoid that altogether and go for the Max Rockfall into Landorus. I think their play is always to taunt into that slot. So at least I get, like, Fake Out Pressure by doing this, you know? And honestly, I think plus two max Rockfall into Metagross, plus like a neutral Flare Blitz, is probably going to KO it. Let's see if they stay in. I'd prefer that. Yep, they opt to stay in. They're sacking the Landers, which is great news for me. And I'm honestly hoping to see a taunt into the uh, into the Incinera. That'd make me feel really good about this play. Get off big boy gig. Or big girl gig, excuse me. I didn't realize I bred a female. Max Rockfall. They don't taunt, which is interesting. What do they go for here? Tailwind? Maybe? All I know is I 100% have to rock fall into that, um... Oh, no, they just air slash. <laughs> they just went for the air slash. Do they not have taunt? I mean, they have to have taunt. There's no way you don't run taunt on this Tornadus, right? They, they gotta have taunt. So let me remove the Tornadus. Um, I'll get in my... My boy, the, uh... The wonderful, the, the phenomenal, uh... Dustclops, and I'll go for the Max Steel Spike into the Tornadus to secure the KO. As they do get in the Metagross. My play is get in Dustclops, give him a defense boost, burn this guy. Because there's no way they take plus two Max Steel Spike. Yeah, I think I just win at that point. If they Dynamax this Metagross and I burn it, it's it's I think it's just game. I just have to not give him policy, you know? There's the Frisk, Focus Sash, Weakness Policy. Whoa! What a revelation! By the way, I will say I'm probably the worst Pokemon player on Earth. I will have a Frisk Dusclops and forget my opponent's item two seconds later. Like that. I'll just forget it. They go for the Protect. Interesting play. Um, that wouldn't have saved them if I went for the Rockfall, I think. However, the defense boost in my Dusclops is really, really good here, so I think I'm fine. They have to choose between activating Policy or taunting the Dusclops. Oh, that looked like a crit. Yeah, okay, so that's unfortunate. Uh, however, I do get in my, my Incinera, though, which means they can't taunt the Dusclops, so if I burn, I probably win. That, that was annoying, though. I, I will say that's very annoying. Because I would have survived that. There's no way Dynamax Gigalith with plus one defense goes down to a Steel Spike Metagross. All right, uh, let us fake out a Tornadus. Do not send in the Finny, because then you lose. That's 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 the rule marker. Send in the Finny, you lose. Get the burn first, then you can do that. <laughs> and there's still a turn of Trick Room. Good job, Marcus. You're managing your Trick Room. You're you're learning. Nope, don't misclick Will o Wisp into the medic or into the uh, tornadoes. I better land this, man. I better land this after that crit. I better land this. I think fake out plus sand plus burn might actually KO the um 
the Tornadus, unless they're running a super bulky one where Fake Out doesn't do. Where Fake Out does like 3 instead of 6 HP, you know? Okay, they go for the Max Guard. I mean, I should still be able to get this off, unless they taunt me, in which case I lose. Kind of wish I had Flare Blitz now, that, made it, that would have made it easier. All right, now they just barely hang on. Trick room ends. Um, what do they have in the back? A couple of things. Nothing Tapu Fini wants to take on. So, Willowis the Metagross. This is important. <laughs> this is important. Um, and I'll just flare blitz the uh, the tornado here. Do they have taunt? They should have gone for it like three times now. They brutal swing, so they're going to knock out my Incineroar. There's no way they knock out this Dusclop short of a crit, though. Yeah, they're going for it. They're going for it. I need this now. This is 100% necessary. This, this burn is 100% necessary now. Flare Blitz for the KO. And I should be able to win with Finny if I play my cards right. Okay, alright. I thought I missed for a second. I was like, wait, the camera didn't change. <laughs> okay, so they do have a couple of defense boosts. I can completely ignore that. If I uh, play this right. There's the Rillaboom. I should 100% get in the Finny for my Incineroar. And probably go for a Nightshade into the Metagross for damage. And I guess I also Trick Room, right? Do I Trick Room? That's probably, probably my best bet. Getting the finny. Because they're not going to grassy glide the incinerar. There's no way. Yeah, the, the crit on the gigalith kind of changed a lot. Misty Surge. This is going to be really close. Incinerar is pretty much going to be the, the deciding factor. You go for fake out. Go for Iron Head. It's going to KO. I am going to get this Rillaboom to minus one. Now, I think their play here isn't to protect the Metagross, but rather to um, attack, anticipating me to go for, the, go for an attack on their uh, Rillaboom. I want to go for Darkest Lariat to ignore the defense boosts. And I also want to go for Muddy Water, hoping that maybe they're running Protect on the uh, the Rillaboom. But they're probably Assault Vest, to be honest. Ah, this is a really risky play. I want to Fake Out as well, but it's still super risky. Because they did get a Quake Off, right? No, they didn't. Okay. This is going to be really risky. I'm going to Fake Out into the Metagross. Because I'm more concerned with Metagross in the endgame than anything else. I'm going to go for Muddy Water. This is probably a huge throw, by the way. This is probably a huge throw. I fake out the Metagross instead, since it's actually the bigger threat. I get a crit fake out. Awesome. You go for High Horsepower, and I, they miss. Okay. So they're, they're definitely aware of what's actually a threat on the field. Can I get an Accuracy Drop? Okay, I think Darkest Lariat into um, Muddy Water should do it. Hey, that's Revenge for the Crit. We'll just pretend like it's fair. I think I missed the, the Metagross. Yeah, I missed the Metagross. Can I get an Accuracy Drop again? Make it easier. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. There's the Stomping Tantrum. 
Crap, that knocked me out. Okay, I lose. Maybe it's possible if they just miss every single hit. That'd be cool. That'd be that'd be uh, that'd be poggers, guys. That'd be absolutely poggers. Woodhammer, they land it. I probably lose. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, I tried to luck them back. Unfortunately, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't come back from the Gigalith crit. Uh, but it's all good, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. By the way, I appreciate all the support. Uh, we weren't be able to. We weren't able to uh, claw back into top 1,000. Uh, however, tonight on stream we'll be playing some more games. Let's try to reach. I'm gonna try to reach top 500 on stream tonight. So if you guys want to check that out, link to the stream will be in the description down below. I go live at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, but with that, I'm gonna call, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you like. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.